This video will show you how to carry out a Brompton seat sleeve replacement. The most common sign for a worn seat post sleeve is a slipping seat post or the thread on the quick release protrudes more than 3mm. Please note a nickel finish may show more than 4mm of thread due to the fine nature of the finish. For all bikes after 2002, the seat sleeve replacement has a key in it. For any bikes before 2002, there is no key. The key slots into the seat tube cutout. Two seat post sleeves are supplied and you can test before gluing it. The tools needed to replace the seat sleeve are a 10mm spanner, Loctite 480 or equivalent, used gloves when dealing with cyanoacrylate glue, a 4mm Allen key, posi drive screwdriver, crank extractor, a steel pipe cleaning brush, seat sleeve reaming tool including telescopic sleeve, a mandrel tool, 8mm Allen key and 8mm torque wrench and an old Brompton seat post. Use a headset spanner and a 17mm spanner if you need to reshape the seat tube area or seat clamp tabs which should be 17mm in width. Remove the saddle, pentaclip and rubber o-rings. Make sure the drive side cranks are removed. Remove the seat post. Remove the seat sleeve by inverting an old seat post and use the flared end to hammer out the sleeve. Make sure that the whole sleeve has been removed and the seat tube is clean and free of debris using an aerosol degreaser. The arms should be parallel. Reshape the seat post area if it has been misformed by over tightening as demonstrated. Use a large flat edge of any tool such as a headset spanner. The tab should be slightly flared. If not, reshape with a 17mm spanner or similar and ensure that the tabs are 17 millimeters in width. You can grease the outside of the seat post area to protect the area from glue contamination. Apply the specialist glue, Loctite 480 or equivalent, to the new seat sleeve. Make sure you only apply glue to the raised surfaces. Insert the seat sleeve, making sure that the slots and the key are lined up. If using the sleeve key, you will hear a firm click when the sleeve is in place. Make sure the clip of the sleeve is beyond flush with the frame. Use a flat sided tool to check that the sleeve is properly aligned with the seat tube slot. Quick release cam should be loose when tightening preload to not misshape the frame. Using a mandrel tool, allow the glue to dry for at least 30 minutes. Then invert the bike. Insert the reaming tool from the underside of the bike, making sure that the telescopic seat sleeve is fitted. The seat sleeve will help the tool cut straight in the frame. Slowly lower the tool while gently turning to prevent the tool from binding upon insertion. Once the tool has entered the frame, up to the flat edged part of the tooling, remove, turning clockwise. Clean the swarf. Assemble the seat clamp in the order shown. Reassemble the drive side cranks. Refit the seat post. Check the seat post slides freely and is held firmly by the quick release. Top tip, Brompton seat post does not require any lube or grease, designed to be run dry. Degrease the seat post if necessary. Refit the pencil clip and saddle. 